if push comes to shove and you want to prolong your international career and make a mark there for the next six, seven years, pull out of an IPL. So sometimes you might, you need to do that or tell the franchisee, I'll play only half, pay me half. As simple as that. We hear the name Ravi Shastri, straight boom comes the voice from the commentary box. The impressions of a fighting gritty cricketer, the head coach who saw some of the most incredible moments in Indian cricket. But for me, he is the judge on the reality show that I won to get this job. I'm quite sure Ravi Bhai, you don't remember that day. Of course but I do. But I shall never forget it. No, of course I do. And it was uh, great to see talent like that come through. You've done so well in your in your career, in your in your profession, and you're going from strength to strength, you know, which you know we're glad we picked the good one, you know, that is the going places down uh, the broadcasting discipline. And uh, I believe there were two, three more that came out of that mm -hmm. and uh, who have gone into different areas yeah. other than sport, which is uh, very good. The reason I brought this up was absolutely by no stretch of imagination to hear any good thing about me. But this is what I tell people when I talk to them that, you know, in the dressing room, I can only imagine because when we just walk around in the alleyways, you just come pat on your back and say, come on, you're going to do this. Is that what coaching now is? A lot of it because you're seeing players getting younger, not having played that much domestic cricket. Do you think you have to do a lot more man management with the younger ones coming through? 90% of the time it's man management because uh, you play that much of cricket when you reach that certain level, you know how good you are. In a country of 1.4 billion, you don't make it to a level if you're not good at what you are. So what you got to do is encourage these guys to believe in that. You know, remember where they came from. But outside of that, man management becomes the key because India is a big country and people come from different cultures, different states, they speak different languages, they think differently, the way they're brought up is different. You have to understand all that and then ensure that when you go out on the path, you play as one. A team that speaks one language, does things in one manner, right, where everyone embraces that style and then you keep it going. Because uh, the amount of cricket uh, that's played these days, the pressure on the individual, the eyeballs that are on the players, you know, it, it, it's not easy. You know, you'll have your ups, you'll have your downs. When, when you're down, that's the time when all these things come into play. Just leads me perfectly to something I've been pondering over and trying to, you know, just speak to as many individuals as possible. Social media, mm -hmm. and I mean, with younger players coming through, tasting success at a very young age, with the good comes the bad. Yeah. There are bad days, yeah. and then almost everyone out there is there to judge you. I mean, fans are stakeholders, but sometimes they can get a little too critical and it reaches you straight away. How do, how do they handle that and how much has that changed the entire ecosystem of how a player reacts? I think they, you know, whenever people ask me, they say, Ravi, how, how do you handle it? I said, listen, in my case, it's different. I just post, mm -hmm. you know, I don't read too much about what is said because anyway, you know, the skin that I'm made of is thicker than most and, uh, and anyone wants to compete can be my guest when it comes to that department. But with the young guys, they got to know that if they like to see what's written about them, then be ready to see the brick bats you get if things don't go well. You've got to learn to accept the rough with the smooth. If you can't, just get out of social media. As simple of that as that. You want to stay in there, you want to hog the limelight, and yet you don't want to take the crap that comes, then sorry, then you're in the wrong, wrong decision. It's very simple. Be prepared for what you'll get. Mm. If not, get out of it. But is that hard? Because also social media is now a major revenue stream. Mm. I mean, just stating plain facts mm. and you're probably urged by your team, by almost everyone who's handling your accounts to be on it. Mm -hmm. So is, is there a way that you'd prefer, you know, maybe a lot of young cricketers watching this right now, mm -hmm. what could be the balance? The balance would be read less. Read at times when you're not playing cricket. But when you're playing the game, you're in the, mid you're in the middle of a season, then as little as possible. And that's the job of your managers who handle your accounts and things of that sort. It's their job to tell the player. Otherwise, it should be the player's job to tell the managers, you don't tell me whether I should stay on that social media account or not, or whether you're going to get me the revenue or not. You tell me how much input you need and it's your job to handle it. Do you think it would have been hard if, if your generation or the ones immediately after? Well, I would have loved it. You would have loved oh, it? Oh, I would have loved it. I would have loved the crap that came on the way. Yeah. You know, you would have dished out some of your own. You would have oh, quoted a few oh, of the tweets. Yeah, yeah, it would have been brilliant. It would just be the, uh, you know, incentive, the 
motivation you needed, you know, to give another one out tomorrow, you know, after being <laughs> taken to the cleaners. No, oh, it would have been fun. You can, I can see the look on your face. Uh, but do you reckon no, but... some of some of the players who might not be emotionally as strong, Absolutely. this potentially has has the power to do a lot more damage. Finish you if you're not careful. Finish you. So you've got to strike the right balance, you know, as to how much you want to indulge and where to draw the line. You know, you can't say I'm going to try and get 500 in the social media game from my side and then expect nothing from the other side. So you should know where to draw a line and engage. It could, it, it, it has its benefits as well. You know, you're more aware of things that are happening around the world. You get more knowledgeable if you kind of read the right stuff. And uh, so there are, there are positives and there are negatives. Negatives, I would say more individually when you're playing mm. because it can affect you, you know. And then if you're weak mentally or you don't have the self-belief in your own ability, you can go downhill. Coming to another hot topic, uh, someone who perhaps no one right now would know better than you, that's Virat Kohli. Mm. And the, the figure that we all saw after he was dismissed in the game against Hyderabad, I mean, for a few seconds, that was probably heartbreaking for all the fans because you're not really used to it. Mm. And you probably wondered what was going on in his head. What's the way out? You mentioned that he should probably take a break. What's your understanding of the situation? I sense? think it's ideal for him because he's uh, he's played non-stop cricket, captain the side across all formats. It would be wise of him to take a break. And but where does he take the break, Shaz? Do you think no, it's feasible it's a, to take it, a break? You know, sometimes you've got to draw the balance. I mean, this year he's already into the tournament. Right. Tomorrow, if push comes to shove and you want to prolong your international career and make a mark there for the next six, seven years, pull out of an IPL for all you care. If that's the case, be it. You, you know, you played for 14, 15 years, not Virat, I would tell that to anybody. If you want to play for India and do well for India, then you've got to draw a line as to where you want to take that break. And the ideal break would be off-season when there's no India is not playing and the only time India doesn't play is during the IPL. So sometimes you might have, you need to do that or tell the franchisee I'll play only half, pay me half. As simple as that. You know, those tough calls will have to come if you want to, uh, you know, reach the zenith of your profession as an international player. Do you think the best is yet to come? Oh yeah, I think he's, he's still young. It's uh, he's got the best five six years ahead of uh, ahead of him. You know, he would have realized what he's gone through in these uh, months. You know, he knows he has to go back to the drawing board. You know, the way he thinks, the way he approaches the game, the way he thinks about his game, and he has to literally start from scratch. And he's not the only one. You know, there have been many players in the past who've gone through exactly this. You know, like you mentioned, first ball out yesterday, two days ago. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, from the outside, I won't be worried because as a player, if I nick one first ball, I say I've hardly been in. You know, it's a good one or it could have been a bad shot. It is when you get in and then you throw it away that disappoints you more than anything else. So he'll be fully aware of what he's going through. So when he gets in now, it's up to him to make it count. Could, could, could he open? He likes to just always take the challenge head on, right? No, Maybe he, just go face uh, the uh, first ball or something. It, 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 that, that option is left to the team. You know, from uh, would you do that if you were handling the team? Depends on if I have a good number three mm -hmm. or if I if, if the balance of the team is not affected. And if I do have a number three, then no harm in asking to open because you know he doesn't have to wait. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes in straight away, the bowlers are bowling their first ball, he's taking strike first ball. And things could be different. And you know, if he gets off to a this thing, start then you might want to keep him there itself, you know, for all you know. So, depending on the balance of the team, it's not a bad option at all. Okay, one final question. There's one man who you've seen as a cricketer, as a captain, as a mentor, and now we're seeing him just turn back the clock at the IPL. What is it? What's the enigma around MS Honey? What have you decoded? You know, is it that he does something completely different? Or is it that he does something which is the most simple? Very simple, and it's just his understanding of uh, this format of the game. I would say all formats, but now since he's retired from MS Everything else playing this. It's just understanding uh, of this format of the game, what it takes, you know, to tick and click. The, the way he dissects that game is better than most in the sense with his own abilities as a player. I mean, whom to target, when to target, when not to target, you know, how long to wait. And he, it, it just comes naturally to him. You know, it's uh, so you can't take it away. You know, he says, okay, 19th over, three runs, four runs, but I'm waiting for that 20th. You know, it could be 18, it could be 20. That belief, because he's been in that situation so many times, mm -hmm. that there's not a negative bone in the body when it comes to handling that kind of pressure. So, you know, you thrive on pressure. You know, sometimes, you know, when you when you look pressure in the eye and, you, and, and you're prepared to soak the, uh, whatever, you know, the, the pressure that comes your way, sometimes, uh, and you get used to it, you want that pressure, you want that situation, you know, I know so many players in the world who love going, going to bat at, you know, 100 for 5 or 80 for 5 in a test match or in trouble, 3 wickets down, 4 wickets down and for them it's, it gets the best out of them, it's just like they love it, so you know, he's he's one of them, you know, where when it comes to the crunch, 
finishing game. I mean, there's no one better than him. Was Was there any nice, fascinating chat you had with him as a mentor in a slightly different role? Not really. It's it's again how simple he keeps things. Hmm. You know, it, it's very simple how he keeps things. He you know very uh, particular on the process, the work ethics, the focus that goes into preparing a team and making of a team and making of an individual. You know, he's uh, got his finger on the pulse there, and otherwise, basically, very very simple. You know, keeps it simple, which is the best way. You know, that's why when you call him Captain Cool, when you see him in tough situations, you know, his mind is thinking the clearest. Basically, keeping it basic is not that simple, which is why he's someone who's been able to do it. But thank you so much, Raz. Uh, usually, you don't get to you know talk about, explore all these options and these chats around. Part and parcel, but part and parcel of the game. You got to yeah. live with it. You know, and uh, and like I say, you live and you learn. Let me run. So all the youngsters watching, there's probably a lot in here for you to learn and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this.